Welcome to multi-layered lino printing. This is a process involving two or more colours. I will add the materials below but you can pause and take a screenshot now if you would like. Firstly draw your image onto the lino or rubber plate using a pencil or a marker. You will remove the area which you want to remain white. Use a small and sharp tool first and always remember to carve away from yourself. Safety first. Place your plate onto a marker paper and trace around it. Mark the top right hand corner of your plate so that you remember where to place your lino each time. You can use printing ink or acrylic paint for the color medium. Printing ink usually works better but mine was a bit old and did not place evenly onto the brayer. So I decided to opt for acrylic paint this time. Once you have finished with your color, in this case the yellow, you can wipe the paint off and start carving out your areas. You are preparing now for your second color. Remember that the areas you are carving out right now will remain yellow. Pop your paint onto a piece of paper or a tray and roll it out, making sure that your brayer or roller has an even distribution of paint on it. Roll and then lift your roller and change directions to spread the paint out evenly. One of the most important things about multicolor printing is that the images line up. This is why we created our marker page in the first place. This is also why we popped a dot in the top right hand corner of our plate so we know where the top right hand corner is. Also make sure when you're placing your paper on top of your plate that the two bottom left corners also align. Now if you do this, chances are that most of those colors will align beautifully. Once you've also popped your paper on top to pull up the ink, you need to make sure that you're massaging with the palm of your hand or if you're lucky enough to have one, a baron. It's a circular hand tool. Make sure you make a number of copies as some will work better than others and you want to have a choice and you want to give yourself a choice. Don't worry if some of the prints you pull do not look that good. You're starting off, you're learning, this will happen. You can see that I'm printing, cleaning, carving and then printing again. Sometimes the printing may not be as clean as it needs to be and that is okay. You can carve away the problem bits and start printing again and you'll notice that with this beautiful teal color which is my favorite the print was not as clean as I wanted it to be when I pulled the print there were bits that shouldn't have been there so I needed to go in and clean my plate up remember again safety first So after I've gone in and cleaned these bits up, you'll notice that the print becomes a lot cleaner. You could dry the ink off in between or the paint off in between and carve again, or you could just jump straight in there. Printing is a really messy activity. It's a fantastic activity, but it's a bit messy. So you may need to wash your hands in between each color. Another handy hint I'll give you is to clean up as you go along. If you leave all the mess to the end, your workplace becomes chaotic and it's really hard to work out what's going on. I tend to try and clean up and organize myself so my workspace is clean, neat and tidy. Now, this is the final carve because I am carving for the final color, which is going to be black. It's kind of going to be my outline. Now, when, once you get to this stage where there's hardly any lino or rubber on your plate, it's a little tricky to roll the black 
on there or whatever color you're using. So just be patient with yourself. This one's worked out okay. <laughs>